guys. Welcome back to SnowRunner in the Marshall Smithfield Dam. Kind of like on the south end. I don't think I've been down here. But there are a couple quests that we, I think, found through the watchtower. And I'm coming down here um, to actually go to another map. I'm going to show the quest here. We'll accept this one. Uh, what does this actually require? So it just needs to be repaired. Alright, so it's repair status 46%, fuel status 100%. A little bit of XP, a little bit of cash, but um, it's here. Uh, since it's a quest, I don't think it's a truck I'll be able to keep. That's fine. Uh, we're really coming down here this way because, well, I have to. Uh, not, not that I have to. You can go anywhere you want. But uh, I need to go to the other map because I found out where the diff lock was available for the White Star. But since we're coming on the way down here, there is a quest, and now I kind of take it off because I want to see what the GMC 9500 needed. Um, it's find the antenna tower or something like that. So it's down here. I, I mean, am I just really come down here just, just to find it? We know where it is. My guess is it's going to need some kind of repairs because it says it hasn't been working for 20 years or so. But after we come down here and see what it needs, or... Ooh, this is deep. Probably shouldn't have uh, just dove right in, but uh, I did. My snorkel is rather high, so I shouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. Uh, but we're on our way down here, but yeah, it said the, the antenna hasn't worked for 20 years, so my guess is it's going to need something. That is some deep water. Got to remember that there's deep water here. We had to find a way around that with other vehicles and put snorkels on them or something. But uh, I'm hoping to get to level 8 today so I can start putting off some off-road tires is what's next, I believe, right? Off-road tires on the White Star. So I was trying to figure out why the White Star I could not hitch up the trailer to in the last episode. So I took the International down to the trailer store and that hooked up to that trailer. So, and I'm looking at the back of the White Star and the International, it looks the same to me. So I'm not quite sure why I couldn't get it to hook up. I did sell the trailer in the, the store area. So I think last episode I was trying to figure out if I could sell it. Uh, yeah, I can. I learned how to do that. You may, uh, you may have uh, been putting down comments. I'm recording this video before that video even goes out. So um, if you made a comment, yep. Thanks for the comments. I do appreciate it. And the uh, helpful hints and tips are always good. But I'm watching some videos of comparison to vehicles. And man, there's a lot of vehicles out there. Um, probably I won't get to them anytime soon because I'm taking this. I won't say I'm taking it slow. But I mean, I can, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to progress along with you guys. So it's only one at was it? Sometimes half hour to an hour every two days or so that I can play. So it's not like I want to be zooming along here. So I am trying to get some things done here. Uh, like turn into here. Find the antenna tower. Okay. Um, so that was it, huh? I found the antenna tower. Uh, how are we doing here? So 1350 out of 600. So we're getting kind of close to level 8. Good times. Uh, now I just got to get the heck back out of here, which is down here. And just make sure we go this way. And Island Lake is where we're going. That's the one that uh, I just kind of drove through because we were getting low on fuel. Then I think I came here and was trying to... Was it here? I was trying to get to the gas station. No, that, I don't remember where that was. Uh, but that's the one we just kind of like drove through. I didn't really go, go to the, all the watchtowers and all that stuff. So since we've been doing a lot of deliveries lately, and I just want to get some experience, I've been looking at some things around here to do. Uh, a lot of it says, like, you need an off-road truck, and since I only got all-terrain tires on my vehicles at the moment, I'm like, ah, that's probably not a good idea. There's a couple jobs that we could do, but I said, well, you know, we're not that far from level 8. Uh, let's drive around. Uh, definitely want to get the diff lock for the White Star. Now I know where that is. Yep, I looked, down, I looked online for him. Like, oh, it's only right there. All right, not too hard to go get. So I've been thinking about taking the International and making it as like a service vehicle. Uh, the one thing that kind of gets me, so when you're in, in the garage customizing and I put like the service material on a vehicle, 
it doesn't tell you how much it actually carries. So some vehicles can store, say, like 200 repair, 100 fuel, blah, blah, blah. But when you put it in customization, I don't see it in the garage. So either I'm missing it or something. So I, I you know, I, you pretty much have to purchase it, I suppose, to find out how much repair it has, repair slash fuel. So I was thinking about, um, you know, like I said, making the international a repair vehicle for now. And what did I just... No, I don't want to travel back. To, I hit the wrong button. Yeah, skip scene. Skip, skip scene. That's that button. All right, can I travel back here? I just want to see how fast the maps load on my computer. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. Uh, this button here. All right. So, yeah, the upgrade is actually right here. So, it's showing right there. Um, I could go get the upgrade first. But... I think what we'll do is we'll unlock a few towers as well. Wow, there are a lot of towers in here. So I think I got one over here. So we came through Drummond Island and we just shot right through. And I said, well, if I'm going buy one, um, we will unlock it. Uh, is there a gas station here? That's probably going to be kind of key because we know this march likes to go through some fuel. So I'm going to drive down to here and probably up to here. And then I'll see if I have this... Shows me the watchtower a little bit better. What am I at? I'm at 53 of 72. As long as I get the upgrade. Uh, and with no garage here, I also found out when there's no garage on a map and you hit recover, it's going to bring it back to the, the last map that you were on that apparently it had a garage. So I'm going to come into these and just go ahead and accept them so I, I can do that from the menu later on that's right I'm learning uh, too busy looking at other things not watching where I'm driving to so is there a gas station on every map I know there's not a garage in every map well, there's a lumber mill all right so some of these roads well let me just put it this way like 90 percent of the roads here I don't think I've been through. Yeah, my driving is going to be really bad because I am looking everywhere in this map, at least trying to. So the warehouse is up this way. All right, so I am here. So it looks like I can go up either road. Let's go up the safer road. I think it's a safer road, and we'll get this watchtower here. I mean, that should be good enough for me. So apparently there's a nice uh, scout vehicle that you can get in Russia. Um, is it the Yaz? I probably pronounced that wrong and I'm probably not even close to being pronouncing it right. Um, I think it's a 6x6. So it look, basically it looks like it has the same tires as the Marshall that we have here, but it's a 6x6. So it has like um, double rear tires, a dump, another axle in the back. Seems to do rather well. I can see a trailer here. Alright, so there's the watchtower right there. I thought it was going up like a hill or something. Alright. So what we get for a watchtower? It's like uh, 30 or 50 experience. It's 50. There's a rusty legend. So, yeah, so the other vehicles as we go along here. Oh, I keep hitting. Play so many games, you forget what button you have to hit. Rusty legend, where's that? So, I can't see what it is. That's a 1500. Alright, well. Oh, yeah, and I also got the 1500. On Smithville, so I was going down that road on the east side. There was a 1500 there. I thought I had to recover the 1500, and it's like, no, um, you found it, you keep it, kind of a thing. All right, now let's go ahead. Uh, we'll go down this road because why not? And then to get up. Ooh, I thought about maybe we'll just cut across here, but I think we'll, I think I'll drive out this way. Um, 
probably since we've taken this road there's the upgrade all right so I've come to here so I'll meet you when I get to uh, this might be the warehouse and then we'll come up through here and this should be some good times going up through here I think well I almost went past my road behind the mill I did go I actually did go past it for a second I'm like wait a minute there's still be like a Y in here somewhere and sure enough I went right past it um that just happened not sure what I'm stuck on but that was rather interesting and trying to figure out where this road actually is is even more interesting nope it pulled me right into that rock. All this is because I want to get diff lock on the white star. The white western star. Just need to remember to remind myself, take it easy here. I don't think I've ever been that close to the map border where it uh, tells me no further. No further, son. I probably should mark where the upgrade is because I may drive past it because I'm so focused on getting up the road. Although I just saw it flicker on the screen, I do believe. What, uh, probably only one truck, right? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's what we came here for. So, half of my fuel tank has been depleted. Um, I'm just trying to figure out my next step. I suppose... Man, there's a lot of watchtowers over in here. Uh, I guess I can come down the road and cut back to the mill. Or just go down the road I came in and, and leave the mill there. So that's probably my best bet. I don't think I want to... I don't want to cliff dive off that, I don't think. Um, I, think <laughs> I think I'll do more damage than good. Well, just past the mill, going up to my first watchtower get from here and bridge the gap actually it's our second watchtower uh, bridge the gap apparently there's a bridge up here that they need kind of uh, repaired the drilling team does and we are just about at the first watchtower I, I keep saying first but I've already done one uh, the second yeah the second one Any upgrades? Yeah, tough negotiations, and is that it? I'll take the XP, though. Alright, so I would like to get these... These two up here as well, with the fuel tank that I got left. So we'll come up to here, then, the, then we'll go to here, which is pretty obvious in here, and we'll start going up this road. Probably get this one, and then that one. Unless I see a sign somewhere that says gas station. I can't remember if this one has a gas station or not. If it doesn't, that definitely does mean in the future here. Uh, it's going to be good to have a, a fuel tanker of some sort. Well, we're kind of heading on out to the drilling site. And this is where I think the bridge needs to be made out here somewhere. And I see the watchtower I want to get to. So zip over there, discover that. Looking for any new upgrades. Or any kind of vehicles would be good as well. 
Uh, I lost track of the watchtower. I think it's through those trees somewhere. Um, so here is the bridge, I do believe. That they want built. Where the heck did that watchtower go? It's right over there. And I don't think I'm on a road that really gets me to it. Actually, it looks like the drilling site doesn't really have anything... Uh, leaving it. Well, uh, while we're in the map, because it's getting close to evening hours, because this should be kind of fun, because I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get out there. This is sturdy enough so far. Don't know how deep the swamp is, but um, you know what? The heck with it. Probably burn all my fuel just to get out there. But who knows? Maybe there is no road that goes out to this watchtower. I think the marshal had a little fun going through that. Wasn't too bad at all. Any upgrade? Upgrade location discovered. Alright. We like those. Where is the upgrade? Right over here. Alright. So, probably the smart thing to do is now that I'm on a road, we're going to go up here. Actually, we're, we're not too far from the upgrade. I mean, I'm here. I, uh, let's, let's just go get it. See what it is. I mean, we've gone through the swamp once already. Let's do it again. No idea what's going to be here. Probably nothing I want, knowing my, the way things have gone. What vehicle is that for? The Scout and the 1500. Alright. Um... I mean, I mean, it's not a bad thing. All right, let's zip on out. I say zip on out, and then we'll come over here, hopefully, and then uh, maybe get that watchtower over there. Of course, I know that that if I didn't go through the swamp, I could have taken this one just a lot easier. If I went through like the swampy water, I could have just taken the land way. Alright, so what vehicle... Ooh, that looks like a nice little vehicle. I say little. Western Star 6900 Twin Steer. Job accepted. So I'm not seeing any signs that say gas station this away. So it looks like the two garages and gas stations might only be on Smithville and Black River. Although I don't think we've done too much in... Oh boy, I already forgot the name of the other map. I haven't been there enough. Interesting. 
just a plain old chassis. Alright, so this is the drilling site that we're at. No, that's the drilling site. Uh, there's a rusty legend. Alright. So we'll we'll go take that quest and then just keep driving forward. Oh yeah, so you're the one, so that's the 1500 that you want way back at the other, oh wow, okay. I mean, I don't think that's a bad tow, actually. I could probably even do it with a Marshall if I had plenty of fuel, but um, we're kind of lacking that a little bit. Unless I find a service trailer somewhere, which I keep forgetting about. Uh, I see the watchtower ahead. I don't know if those are fuel barrels there. Can you take fuel out of fuel barrels? <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting that if I see a service trailer. I'm like, yeah, there's a trailer. I, I just always think, well, either gas up at a gas station or recover to uh, refuel. See if that gives us any kind of upgrades anywhere kind of close. All right. So apparently gave us nothing. Absolutely nothing. So that just leaves two watchtowers. Um, with the fuel I got, I think I can get there for sure. Well, I say for sure. One way to find out is start driving. I mean, for the amount of fuel I've used so far, I think we can get at least one more watchtower. Can I get two? Well, see the other watchtower, and I got 10 liters of fuel left. Should have no problem getting there. I know when the vehicle, because I've done it a couple times with the marsh, when I get down to like two liters left, it really starts sputtering, and it just won't go. Well, it goes, but not far. Hey, level 8, that's what we're looking for. And what do we have for any, anything? Upgrade location discovered, I like seeing those. New object discover, discovered, corporate expansion. Where is the upgrade? I say we go grab the upgrade, uh, maybe down here to down here see if we can make it um, since I only got 8 liters left and that will probably do it for the Marshall and then I am going to recover it just to see if it does go back to Smithville Do I want it? <laughs> I, I keep saying, do I want a chance? I mean, the worst thing that happens is like, yeah, we, we just recover. Thinking, can I make the other watchtower? I'm thinking probably not. All right, so what truck is that available for? The Ford CLT 9000. I don't think um, I've even found that truck yet seven liters of fuel is not going to get me all the way over to that watchtower so one watchtower drummond island that's the name of it, drummond island all right um yeah so i think we did scouting pretty good here unlock this map a little bit uh i can see now but now we can get some mud tire not mud tires off-road tires on our white star white western star so 
that will definitely help out. Let's go ahead and just because, let's recover. Do you wish to recover your vehicle to Smithfield Dam's garage? Uh, yes. I only got six liters of fuel left. And I'm going to take that way out. And while I'm here, uh, there's the pickup truck I recovered. There's our International, and there's the Navstar. Uh, on the Navstar, if I customize that, how, what level need to be before I even get all-terrain tires on the Navstar? Level 9. All right, well, um, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, so 1,600 experience for each level, seems like, maybe? All right, no problem. Uh, that's not the button I want. Uh, local map. And let's see if I can find that. And we'll have to recover this because... I mean, I could have drove it back, but that's something we're here for. Um... First off, before I forget, diff lock. Engageable. Install. That's that's nice. Uh, tires. All-terrain. Off-road tires. 47 inch. Uh, I always try to go in the middle. Excellent off-road good and mud the previous ones we had were these which were good good average and now we're going up to average excellent good it doesn't change the stats on the wheel performance but uh, those look a little bit better let's go ahead uh ooh, five thousand all right well let's go ahead and do that and i don't think i've unlocked anything special here uh, so the rear bumper, there is only one rear bumper. I don't know why. Either I wasn't close enough to the trailer to attach. I'm just curious. I don't, I, yeah, I'm just a little bit uh, confused on that. As for upgrading the rest of it right now, uh, the exhaust. No, uh, where's the snorkel? What do I, what do I have on there? Because uh, I need to be Rank 12 to get that. All right, so never mind, never mind. All right, uh, let's leave the garage with what we have. And let me look around. We'll do one job with this with the mud tires on, um, off-road tires on it. See how it handles. But uh, let's see if I can find a decent job here. Well, we're on our way to the gas station in the White Western Star to grab a couple fuel barrels. We got to deliver a couple of barrels of fuel on over to the west side. I already forgot the name of the, of the, uh, the mission here, but uh, I can show it to you in just a second because i got to check out the map when I get there. Uh, fuel, I think that's the uh, auto load, yep. And I need two of them. So, yeah, we're doing more fuel. It's actually, that's what it's called, more fuel. And where am I going again? All right. So we know how to get to the farm. That's not that's not the the thing. I've gone down this road enough. So I think what we'll do is when we get to the farm, we're gonna go here. And then we'll just go straight on through, on up to there. Well, as you know, it's probably going to be pretty uneventful until I get down near to the farm. I'll bring it back when I get to the farm because that's where we start to run into some, some muddy situations. I'm going to be kind of curious to see how these tires handle going through some of the muddy areas I have been before. So I kind of know what it should act like or be like. I probably should have got uh, my 9 liters of fuel while I was at the fuel station, but I think this is the last job for the episode anyways. Yeah, I'll meet you back at the, the farm. Just past the garage, heading down the hill, and there is a rock in here. I swear, half the time going down this hill, I'll hit it. And I'll do 1% damage, or 1 damage to my suspension. And every time I look back at it, I'm like, that little rock? I go over all those rocks all the time, and nothing ever happens. Oh, but today I didn't. Alright, so how soon... How far can I get before I need all-wheel drive or anything like that now that we got off-road tires on here? 
The job says I need a crane. Well, I guess... I mean, can, could I have loaded that up by the crane at the fuel station? Uh, I can't say. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need something going through here, right? I mean, this is, this is going to be a heavy load for this thing. So all-wheel drive seems to be doing the trick with off-road tires. I think there is a spot in here where it gets pretty deep on one side and not the other, so I've got to be kind of careful. But I also want to stay to the towards the edge, so I don't, if I, if I do need to tie myself up and get out of here, we can. Oh, this is nice. Always nice when you uh, level up and you can get better, better equipment, isn't it? Of course, probably a lot of you people are like a, like probably level 15 or 20 now. <laughs> but I'm just trying to think, should I be making... I mean, I, I need a service vehicle at this... I mean, when we leave this map, looks like uh, when we go to the other maps, we're going to need a service vehicle for sure. Because with no gas station or garage, I just can't keep recovering the vehicle because then, you know, it's a long drive. So we got to start, you know bringing some fuel with us. As for, you know, fuel is my, has been my issue. Um, repairing, not so much, but I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to damage my vehicle so far that uh, it will need repair. I don't remember this road too well, if I've been on it. I'm pretty sure I've been on it with a marshal, and that's about it. So I also saw that I mentioned, I think last episode, does this have a bigger gas tank, fuel tank? Yeah, well, as, as you can see, this is 300 liters, and I think the International is 240 liters. So a big difference in, in fuel capacity. I kind of forgot that was on all-wheel drive here. Take it off. He says as he gets uh, almost there. I, pro I may have needed to get up that hill anyways. It was a little steep. And a little extra grip in the front doesn't hurt things. Am I just going straight through? I mean, kind of. around because if there's any jobs here I probably should take them. There's a trailer over there that our Navstar would probably be able to haul out. But I need to hit level 9 before I even get all terrains on the Navstar. It actually might be Navistar. Navistar? N-A-V-I. Navistar. Um, that kind of hurt a little bit. I don't know what the, might have been a log went up and got into the drive axle. A log. Um, can we not go in that ditch there? Alright, all-wheel drive is kind of needed here. Who chose this road? <laughs> okay. I'm glad I got, at least got the off-road tires going here. This is going to be steep. I might need diff lock to get up here. Yep. And also a little bit more support as well. Be enough to get us to the top.
just be careful I don't roll it over. That'd be my biggest concern at this point. Although I've seen some tricks on using the crane that might get you out once in a while if you can. Sometimes a crane will save you. Is this the only way to this house? Um, be nice to know for later on. Right, let's take it out of diff lock and just put it in the auto and all wheel drive. I'm just going to leave it in all wheel drive just because I don't want to get uh, stuck in here when I got forward momentum going my way. Um, I better say, <laughs> okay, need to go that way, huh? Easy does it. So yeah, level nine is going to be a good level for us, so I can get some all trains on the on the nav star, Navistar, and maybe I can start going around doing some things with that. So diff lock here. Nope. That button there. There we go. And also probably leave some comments below about what are you using for a service vehicle? What kind of a combo that you're using? I know everyone's going to have a lot of different combos. Uh, where am I going with this? says right there. Did I not accept this somewhere? Okay. I did that again. I did it again. Well, I hopped back to the garage. I got that pickup truck that I rescued a little bit earlier just before I started recording this episode. I just got to go over to... Is this the factory or warehouse? I, I get them mixed up all the time. Uh, the quest starts over here, and I could have sworn I've accepted this before. I gotta remind myself uh, when I'm in the map, if it doesn't say start tracking, that means you have not accepted it, I suppose. Um, which one is which? Uh, more fuel. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll accept that now. Thank you. Uh, turn the engine off. And then go to the map. And then all I have to do is find my vehicle over here. And just like that, cargo management, unload, accept. Easy peasy. I don't know what your guys are all nervous about there. Easy peasy, nice and done. Uh, yeah, you didn't even burn that much fuel. You've been getting through all that uh, 100 liters, which is not bad. Still got plenty of jobs to do here. Even got jobs back on Black River. Um, but now with off-road tires and seeing how that goes, um, yeah, I'll have to do some scouting around see what I want to do next episode. Uh, there's an upgrade here. I do have a job. There's three oil barrels I got to pick up here and bring to... The warehouse, I believe, uh, this upgrade, upgrade always have me interested. Um, we may even venture maybe to another map with a marshal and, um, well, well, I keep forgetting the name, um, uh, Drummond Island. So there's no garage. Uh, apparently I got a truck there. I don't know what truck I have there. Truck info. I don't remember. Um... Yeah, so plenty of jobs, but we're now level 8. Yippy skippy, off-road tires. Feel better. Uh, mud tires, uh, I'm pretty sure those would come in really handy down, down the road, but uh, I'm happy with these now at this point. Clearing up the jobs in Smithville, actually, but I think sometimes someone mentioned that more jobs will appear. The more jo Sometimes the more jobs you get done, other ones will appear as you go along. Uh, I think the oil barrel ones popped up as well. 
So not too bad. Um, maybe even try to find some new vehicles to drive around in. Uh, but do leave a comment what you guys are using for a service vehicle or a combination or at the level I am what I probably should be building or using at this early stage. I mean, obviously, I don't need a flow bull blown out vehicle, maybe. Maybe I just need, uh, like, the 1500, just like a little service uh, container or a fuel trailer. Maybe that's all I need is a fuel trailer for the next map. Uh, but that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in SnowRunner. But until then, have a good one.